You will never improve if you do not understand the game and why certain things happen. I just want to have a bit of a discussion tutorial today and talk about clients in my academy and essentially the differences that I have found after coaching for the last one and a half years. And for those of you who don't know, I have been coaching. I've done YouTube for full time for the last year and a half. I started a coaching academy for people wanting to learn extra and essentially get one on one with me and improve their game to the point where they are just as good as me, to be honest with you. A lot of people have been very successful in that. In fact, most of them have. Now, I want to say that I have coached two different people. You've got the people that want to learn and those people that want to learn will usually attempt to understand what is going wrong in their game instead of blaming the game. The other type of person is the person that will attempt to implement what I'm teaching them but at the end of the day they won't look at their own faults and they won't reflect on why the certain thing in the game happened and they will instead blame the game okay for what happened so there's those two types of people if i'm gonna be dead honest with you this is not my opinion this is from data and analysis of people who have been coached by me in the past what i have actually found is those people that analyze and accept what happened in the game and don't blame the game do a lot better than the others that do blame the game for instance if the player that doesn't blame the game loses the ball in the midfield, the opponent gets down the other end and scores such a sh goal, literally, it's, it's a goal that is disgusting, shouldn't happen, right? Whether it's a rebound goal, whether the keeper falls over five times, whatever. They will still reflect and go, yes, that happened, but they will look back at their own mistake in the midfield and go, well, guess what? If I didn't do that terrible pass to cause me to lose the ball and then my goalkeeper fell over five times and tripped over and the opponent scored, I wouldn't have conceded that goal. So if we can actually minimize those mistakes and reflect on it and go, okay, well, instead of passing this direction, we're going to come out wide now where there's less, less pressure. Well, those people will prevail in the long run because they will minimize the mistakes they're using in the midfield. The other one, however, will reflect on it and go, yeah, I lost the ball, but look what happened. I mean, there's no point. Why should I bother to learn this when the keeper is falling over five times and it doesn't matter because, you know, I lost the ball, but who cares? The keeper fell over and, you know, I can see the goal and I've had enough. They're not going to really learn. And I know a lot of people on the channel are like this person. They're like this person that blames the game. And am I saying the game's perfect? No. Am I an advocate for EA? No. Do I want to help you guys? Yes, this is a way of me helping you in saying stop blaming the game, stop blaming scripting, stop blaming momentum, stop blaming your connection, deal with what you've got and look back at your own mistakes and go, well I can minimise what's happening on the screen that's against me by minimising my own mistakes. This is how pro players get better. You're probably wondering how do pro players get so good through this game without turning crazy okay and blaming the game when something goes against them well if you look at the best pros in the world for instance the Iceman Nicolas 99 when he concedes a sh goal what's he do absolutely zilch reaction does not care he's thinking about what he's got to do next he's also thinking I made that mistake in the midfield I shouldn't be passing that direction again let's try and mix it up next time and not do a poor pass that's what he's thinking and that's the game changer okay this is how we improve and it's a very, very key aspect into how you guys improve in FIFA 23. And I think if you can start and do this, you'll prevail in the long run. It's tough. You've got to put up with a lot of shit in this game. But it's worth it in the long run. So stop blaming it. Look back at your mistakes. Record your games. And go from there. Okay, what can we do instead of that poor pass? What can we do instead of dribbling into the opponent? Well, dribble to the space. What can we do instead of taking a poor, poor touch? Well, let go of sprint when you receive the ball. Then you mightn't lose it, okay? That was single the end of it. I am coaching. If you do want me to help you guys one-on-one, -on -one, I can. Link is down below. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sign out. Au revoir. Adios. Lam ciao.
Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.